All new tonight, five weeks after a luxury yacht crashed on a West Maui shoreline, lawmakers are pressing for more answers on what went wrong. A series of mistakes and mishaps left the Nakoa under 800 feet of water. Tonight, our Chelsea Davis reports on how the state attorney general's office is getting involved. The Nakua is still on the ocean floor somewhere between Molokai and Maui. The 94-foot yacht ran aground in pristine Honolulu Bay last month. State officials say it leaked fuel near a marine sanctuary, caused damage to the coral reef, and the operator is now facing a federal lawsuit. Locals say just because it's gone doesn't mean it should be forgotten. The problem is still there. And lawmakers hear him. Last week, the House Judicial and and Hawaiian Affairs Committee passed a resolution urging the Attorney General's office to investigate the grounding. When rich people break their toys in the environment, we all have to pay. And a lot of us are upset about that. Representative Ganadin says he expects to crack down on licenses in future legislative sessions. We can't be attempting to pass resolutions every time this happens. What we need to do is put appropriate rules in a place regarding licensure and insurance. Kikai Keahi hopes this incident will shed light on all grounded boats across Maui, specifically on the west side, where boats are still grounded at Lahaina Harbor and Mala. Mala, we see two, three boats come ashore a year. Um, one year we had almost 10 boats on shore, and we've been trying to ask the state for many years that we would like to see Mala maybe not be a mooring area. Department of Land and Natural Resources is conducting its own investigation into the Nakoa. The Attorney General said they never comment on the existence of any investigation, but hears and understands the grave concerns raised in the legislature. The office says they're working with state agency partners on the environmental response and fact gathering. The office says they're working with state agency partners on the environmental response and fact gathering. Chelsea Davis, Hawaii News Now.